Learning how to tie knots is one of the most useful things that you will learn when you start to sail. Today I'm going to show you a few different knots, how to use them and where they're going to be used. This is a jib sheet, you can see that it's one of the lines that um, keeps the jib in place. And at the end of this, to stop it running through your leaves, we put a figure of eight knot. So the figure of eight knot is a very basic knot. You go over, around itself and back into itself. So you can see when it's made, it's the shape of an eight. So the reef knot is the next knot I'm going to show you. The reef knot is actually over 4,000 years old. So a reef knot is for tying two ropes together, um, two different ropes. It's great if you need an extension on a line if your line is a little bit short. So very simply, you get the one on the left goes over the right, tuck it under, and the one on the right goes over the left and tuck it under. So that's what it looks like. The next knot we're going to have a look at today is the bowling. This would be used if you need to take weight on something. When the weight comes onto the knot, it tightens, but it doesn't tighten the loop. So it's a simple loop knot. So this is the tail, this is the bite, and this is the running part of a rope. So with the running part, you make a six, a figure of six. And you get the tail of the rope, put it up through the bunny hole, around the big tree, back through the bunny hole, and take the weight on it. And there's your, your bowling. The next knot we're going to have a look at is the round turn two half hitches. This is a really useful knot for when you're tying up to a mooring or a, a fixed point. That's what it's usually used for. So it consists of a round turn like this. So you're literally just putting layers around something and then the half hitch comes in here like this and your two half hitches like that. This knot is called a sheet bend. This is really useful if you again have um, two pieces of rope but you need a longer line. Um, you don't leave this knot unattended because it can work itself loose so it's better if it's got a weight or a load on it. And very simply you have a loop from, from one of your lines. You come up through the loop, around the back of the loop and under the running line like this and the load comes on like this. This knot is called a clove hitch and this is used for tying your boat up to um, a, a key post or also if you're using fenders, this is the knot that you would use to tie those onto the side of your boat. So very simply, you go around and under in one direction, around and under in the same direction. And when it's tied, you can see that there's a bar going across and two standing lines. I hope you enjoyed our videos today on the different knots and don't forget practice makes perfect. So get out there and start practicing.